Hola, hola, mi gente, Melissa Miranda here from Miracles Within Us, and I'm super excited to be here with you. And today I want to talk about what does confidence have to do with healing? And I know that sounds really weird, like confidence, but there's something to be said about the way in which you have your own self-esteem and how you heal and how you're able to transform that into all of your healings, not just with yourself, but also with others. So I want to talk about that feeling of giving yourself that enoughness, if that's even a word, but giving yourself that I am enough and how important that really is for healing. Um, it is really difficult to heal when we have a low self-esteem because we internalize everything as ourselves. It's our fault that something happens. Um, and when we have that low self-esteem and we don't have confidence in ourselves, it makes it really hard to, for one, forgive ourselves and move on. And that's a big part of healing. And that's one thing that um, a lot of people underestimate with healing is that healing is about a, a lot of forgiveness, forgiveness of the self, forgiveness of others, forgiveness of situation, forgiveness of things that out of your control and letting yourself flow with source right and like really having that trust in your connection with source and as you start building more with yourself your own confidence your communication with yourself and also with your divine if that's if however you want to call it whether it's god whether it's angels whether it's an alien in the sky whatever you want but it's your source the way in which you connect that divinity the oneness the thing that makes you feel connected and with each other not just with ourselves but that oneness feeling allow yourself to connect to that and when you do and you have confidence you are able to let yourself go and let go of all the burdens that come with the upset or the healing that needs to occur and healing is on many levels right and i'm talking about a healing on a more vibrational level not on a physical level not on a i'm sick that's a whole other healing which we could talk about another time but i'm talking about real transformation i'm talking about when you really allow yourself to transform and ascend and move forward in life and that looks really different right it's, there's so many words there's awakening there's a enlightenment there is christ consciousness there, there is so many terminologies for it, uh, but the truth is that when you step into that and you have that sense of confidence, you really allow yourself to heal. You allow, your, you allow others to heal. You give yourself the freedom to start anew and to be and do something different. Um, and that's the exciting part around healing and transformation is that you no longer have to play by those rules that you given yourself before or that you picked up from others, right? So it's like really allowing yourself to step forward. So what is healing? And, and let's, let's dive in a little bit around healing. Well, there's different levels, right? There's the spiritual level of healing, there's the physical, there's the emotional, there's our light body, which I don't talk a lot about, but there is the light body, which is really connected to our um, emotions as well. Um, and it's, it's like, if you think of aura, it's like another layer of our aura, another layer of, our, of ourselves. We are way bigger than this body, right? Like, it's so hard to see that, believe that, feel that at times, especially when things aren't going well, to remind ourselves, hey, I am more than just this physical body. I am, I am all everything. I am connected to everything. And I can choose to be anything at any moment in time. It's about making the choice and stepping forward and going for it, right? So, um, I'm really excited to be here. I see you guys rolling in. Hola, hola. Say hello as you come in. Tell me where you're at. <laughs> I would love to see how you're doing. And I would love to talk more with you one-on-one -on -one 
on really building your own confidence because we underestimate what confidence is and I, I want to say that there's a difference between I'm confident and I, I have a really big ego. Um, I want to really separate the two because they are very two different things, right? It's like I could be confident around what I know, what I've studied, what I've done and things along those lines or I can be arrogant around it and we are, we're not what I'm saying here is not to step into the arrogance of it, but standing into who you who you really are from a powerful place. Because when you're standing with confidence, your confidence never and never um, is taking away from another. And that's how you could kind of tell the difference between an ego trip and a confidence booster is that when you're in your confidence it is encouraging not only of the self but of others to do the same so it's like hey i'm in my power you know hey girl hey guy i'm in my power and then you step into allowing other people to do that that is with the confidence when you have ego it's more of oh look 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 at me look at me look at me yet there is no acknowledgement of others and coming together and elevating. It's just around them getting the satisfaction. So I just wanted to point that out and how important confidence is for healing. Healing comes on many levels, many different ways. And for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you know this very clearly that in your joy is where you actually really get the healing this is where your vibration in your body starts to shift and that's key and i think that's the thing we underestimate about our vibration and the fact that we ourselves are also energy we're not just physical we're also energy and because we are also energy we're also have to acknowledge the part that needs that healing that attention with energy and a lot of the times where we really need healing is in our vibration it's in our it's in our energy right so if we can focus on getting into the energy we can then really start creating a lot of different types of healings within ourselves on many different levels right there there's been so many stories around people who have uh, started awakening within themselves and they they started to have this self-esteem this confidence about themselves and they started to learn and just be more joyful and in that process somewhere along the line the healing occurred and they no longer have those symptoms and <laughs> Moses says yes we need that yes we do we really do and it's really understanding what healing is and we are so disconnected as a society around the self and we are always looking outside of ourselves like we ask the doctors what should i do we ask our friends what should i do around things and the truth is we need to connect with ourselves and allow that hola maria welcome welcome we have to connect to ourselves and allow that to step forward to awaken and be the forefront of who we are right so as we start to understand what really healing is then we can start stepping into it and i'm not saying confidence is the only thing you need i'm saying it's one of the things you need in your healing journey and it's really has been beneficial in my own life as well and with many many people i've worked with and i would love to work with you as well so i'm going to offer a 30 minute complimentary session and i'll have the link um below this video in the captions or and i also will put it in the title um somewhere in there as well so that you can book your 30 minute session with me and we can really talk about where you're being stopped at in re in life, right? Where are you unstoppable, you know, really uncovering the unstoppableness of who you are and seeing where you are actually a little stuck and see how we can start shifting that energy and creating real healing in your life. And I would love to know and get some feedback from you guys as well. 
whether you're watching the recording or you're watching this live thank you thank you thank you please share this as well um, I would love to know what your what you would like to see more of on miracles within us um, I'm working on some new stuff and I really want to give you what it is you need versus what I think you need so the best way to find out what you need is to ask you directly so feel free to to submit um, below this some videos or some content you would really like to me to cover around healing intuition spirituality angels and really just bettering our life and our lifestyle you know um, lifestyle is a choice we do every day and it's important that we sit and ask ourselves does the behaviors does the things I have or want or you know what I'm doing right now is it supporting the future that I am visualizing for myself and that should be a really big indicator with decision making and um, and in my intuition course I also teach a little bit about that and you could get that for free on my website at miracleswithinus.com as well where you could figure out what type of intuitive you are and you could learn some of the tips there that will help you get more in tune with your intuition so that then you are not only uh, on your devices on a logical level but you also using your intuitive nature which is also another part of ourselves and um, really allowing that and when we have more confidence with ourselves we have more trust with ourselves then we trust what source is telling us through signs and through our intuition and through our vibration source is always talking to us through our vibration and it's time that we start listening and understanding the the vibrations that are being out there you know and really allowing ourselves to just be in that awakening of it so you know I didn't touch too much around confidence but what does confidence look like to you and what is real confidence and um, in short terms I could basically say that confidence is someone who knows what they're wanting and they're pursuing it and not only do they do that wanting and pursuing it but they do it in a way in which they believe in themselves and have faith in themselves and also that it is it in in that faith in themselves and in the situation or whatever it is that they're needing in that moment in that confidence right when you step into that you allow miracles to really occur you allow source to come into your life you allow things to occur um, like healing like miracles right like transformation and movement <laughs> hi it's been a while yes it has been hola hola <laughs> thank you for being here Deb <laughs> yeah I I am excited I really have some really exciting things that I want to do with you guys moving forward and I really would love to see your feedback as well around it hola hola Nicole <laughs> welcome welcome so healing and confidence they come hand in hand and I've learned this through my own journey as well um, you know growing up and seeing things and like just just having different sorts of friendships and relationships and when I mean relationships I'm referring to friendship relationships with both men and women um, there's there's a level of a growth that happens that is necessary to heal um, there's a, also a level of responsibility and when you're confident in yourself you have the ability and the comprehension to take responsibility for what's occurring and allowing yourself to not let that be your excuse as to why you don't get what you want or why you don't go for what it is that you want but you actually use that that energy that um, whatever it is circumstance to fuel you versus pull you down and that really has a lot to do with how you see yourself and how you are confident within yourself and your healing and your faith right um, 
I, I know I'm saying a lot with the self, but you know, if, if it is that for you yourself, you are, are, are needing more reassurance with source, with God, allow yourself to have faith, right? Faith has a big part to do here when it comes to healing and transformation and moving forward. So I will put below this video the link to, to get your complimentary session. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel so that we can continue sharing the message. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of different videos around this. And this is just a short little video. I wanted to pop up and say hi um, and just share a little bit around confidence and healing and really just giving you the tools of what healing is and it's very different for each and every one of us so don't let anyone tell you it's supposed to look a specific way i am just giving you ways of seeing it um in ways to embracing your own healing and one of the most beneficial things has been having confidence with myself and having confidence in my faith and having confidence in my intuition and my connection with source and knowing that I will always be in divine order. And when you can allow yourself to do that, you will give yourself that confidence so you can step into your healing as well, right? Because if you don't believe in yourself, you won't be able to heal because your beliefs have such a power over yourself, especially beliefs around yourself. Beliefs that we have around ourselves are super, super important. And it's important that we tell our th ourselves beautiful things like, I love you, I'm great, I'm wonderful, I'm so smart, I am kind, I am giving, I am confident, I am all of the above. Summer's angel, hola, hola, welcome, welcome, long time. <laughs> right? So it's like, giving yourself that approvals throughout right that that is you know your self-esteem as well right self-esteem and confidence i'm using them interchangeably just a little bit here even though they're not the same thing um but confidence and you know your self-esteem is really important when it comes to healing and moving forward and allowing yourself to move away from toxic situations the reason why a lot of us you know, we have sickness and things like that is because we stay in toxic situations for way too long. And we don't listen to our source. We're not listening to our intuition and our connection. And we're not allowing that to be what moves us forward. Okay, so I love you so, so much. And until the next time, namaste. I'll put the link below. Bye, everyone. I love you. <laughs>